May I ask why you chose to tell your truth when you live in a, an amazing world with the attention of so many in what could totally be gotten away with as a veneer? Because I was struggling alone for so long and I felt like I didn't have anyone that was being open with it and I felt like I was, I was just by myself in this and I felt like something had to be severely wrong with me to be the only person in this industry that felt this way. And so when I started having these conversations in private and I started realizing that everyone is actually struggling and no one is as happy as they seem, I was like, we have to talk about this, I think. I'm so glad that you did. Everybody struggles. Yeah. So I related on levels that um, are difficult to talk about. And I wanna thank you because you're discussing stuff right now that I wanna make you feel safe about because I've been there. Thank you. So when you were struggling, there was like attempts at escaping life. Yes. Tell me about that. I got to the point that I just, things caught up with me that I never had acknowledged, I never wanted to face. I feel like I was sort of putting on this facade and living in this like role I had been assigned for so long and it just all caught up to me one day and then one day turned into weeks and months and honestly I feel like it was at least a year that I was just always in this sort of like suicidal ideation mindset. It felt very normal to me to think about that at the end of every day. Um, and then, yeah, that wasn't until I ended up actually making an attempt and was thankfully obviously unsuccessful, but I don't know, it just all, it just all became too much. And that's when I also decided like, okay, clearly there's something more for me to live for if I wasn't successful and I want to do something with that. And I want to be able to say, I made the choice to live and what am I going to do now? What does that mean? And did this happen twice? Yeah, I don't, I don't like to, I guess, admit that it happened twice because the second time I sort of still brush off as like, no, that, and that should just show, show how like not serious it was to me anymore. It became so normal that sitting on a balcony and debating, jumping off was just something that I kind of did. And that's why I'm like, was that really that big of a deal? And now obviously with a lot of reflection and writing about it, obviously, yes. But yeah, no, it, so yeah, definitely twice at least. Me as well. Yeah. Twice. I don't know if I really wanted to leave the earth. I was so desperate mm -hmm. that I did not know where else to turn. Right. Just wanted like a way out, even if it was maybe temporary, but obviously it can't be. There's no like way to describe it. I always used to say to my best friend, I just want a temporary death. I'm like, maybe it's not forever, but right now it's too much and I want out currently. How did you find your way out back I ask because I've had to ask myself these very same questions. Definitely. I still ask it. I think that my biggest thing, though, was I started doing a lot of inner child work. I started healing the little girl in me, like, very seriously. And that was something I sort of dove in head first. I was like, this has to be what I start with. I have to start with the beginning of where I feel like this pain is coming from. So I really just like took that very seriously. I went on a couple of mental health retreats. I did therapy every single day of the week. I just, I just really committed to getting better, whatever better even means. So I just, I don't know. I, I started to love myself the same way. I try to love other people. <sighs> okay. I love you. I know that for sure. <laughs> I love you too. Everything you just said, that was a real roller coaster of incredible productiveness Thank in you. seeking help in self-awareness, in giving grace to others, realizing you're not giving it to yourself. And you get to be the real you. You have carved that path out for yourself with bravery and courage and strength. And I applaud that because you never have to be fake or anyone but you. Thank you. It's amazing. It truly, truly is. Now, I work here in this beautiful space with Ross Matthews. You know him. I love him. You Ross. guys have done Drag Race together. Do you mind if we pull that sensitive, funny Please. bird into the conversation? Yes. Please.